Welcome to this Chief to You Sociology video looking at Census 2021 updates, focusing on data on household composition. The first topic summaries for the Census 2021 released on November the 2nd, 2022, and further information will be published over the coming months and into 2023. The first summary on demography and migration includes data that is useful for students of families and households as it gives us a breakdown of who is in each household and what is referred to as household composition. The headline figures report that there are 24.9 million households in England and Wales. This accounts for the normal residence of 98.3% of the 59.6 million people that ordinarily live in, the, in England and Wales. The remainder live in communal establishments, including student halls of residence, residential homes and state institutions. What is useful to know is how these are broken down. Of the 24.9 million households, 7.7 .7 million were occupied by just one resident, which equates to around about 31% of households. These can be broken down further by age, with 3.2 million households comprising one resident over the age of 65 living there. And this of course has impacts on the housing stock of England and Wales. A further 4.3 million households have just one person under the age of 65 living in them, with almost one in three households being occupied by just one person. This impacts on both the availability and subsequent cost of housing in the UK. A further 63% of households in England and Wales are occupied by a single family. Now this may be parents and dependent children, couples with no dependent children, or lone parents and their children. The most common type of single family household was a married or civil partnership couple with their dependent children. And this accounts for 3.5 million of the UK's 24.9 million households. This demonstrates the idea that the nuclear family is no longer the norm, comprising less than 15% of total households in England and Wales. Married or civil partnership couples with no dependent children made up a further 2.6 million households, whilst lone parents accounted for around 3 million households in England and Wales. There are almost as many lone parent families as married or in civil partnerships in the UK. There are significantly less multiple family households in England and Wales than single family households, with just 2.6% of households having multiple families living in them, a percentage that has remained unchanged since 2011. This includes what sociologists refer to as the beanpole family, a vertically extended family of three or more generations living under the same roof. For example, an elderly parent living with one of their children, their child's partner and their grandchildren. It also includes lone parents and couples who are living with their parents and raising children. Whilst uncommon in society, this figure has not changed and can be a reflection of increased housing costs and the cost of care facilities in England and Wales. The census in 2021 was the first time in which same-sex marriage was recorded following amendments to the Marriage Act in 2013. 21.7 million people that is 44.6% of the population over the age of 16, reported being married or in a civil partnership. The majority of marriages were opposite sex marriages, with just 134,000 people declaring they were part of a same sex marriage. Interestingly, the number of people reporting being in a civil partnership was 67,000 for same sex relationships, but 35,000 for opposite sex relationships, and this despite it only being legal for an opposite sex couple to be in a civil partnership for a short period of time prior to the census. A true measure of the popularity of opposite sex civil partnerships can only really be taken following the 2031 census. One notable change is the increase in people declaring that they were never married or in a civil partnership. This number increased from 34.6% to 37.9%, which demonstrates the continued decline of marriage in society. 
The number of people who are divorced remains similar at 9.1%, with widowers at 6.1%, and people who had separated from their partner but not divorced or dissolved a civil partnership accounted for 2.2% of the population. This is one of the few times that separation is measured in official statistics, which gives us a greater insight into how happy people are in their relationships. Finally, the graph on the screen shows us a breakdown of the data for legal partnership status of individuals. We can see a decline in the number of those in a marriage or civil partnership, yet this remains the dominant partnership status. There has been an increase in those never married or in a civil partnership, but this may include cohabiting couples or people in relationships. Likewise, divorce, separated and widowed are legal statuses and do not suggest that these people are single. They may be in a relationship, but not have made a legal commitment.